7 a.m. Saturday morning and I'm getting ready for another adventure. I'm going to hike from Boca de Tomatlan to Playa Yalapa today. Can't beat a morning sky like this. I've never hiked this trail before from Playa Las Animas to Quimixto or Yalapa for that matter. I haven't been to Quimixto and I haven't been to Yalapa. So this is all new territory for me. I am using the All Trails map and uh, I have specific instructions from a local here um, who has graciously told me what to watch for, how to uh, act instinctively and follow the water, not necessarily to the ocean, but act like water is what he said. I see the water taxi all the time, so if all else fails, if I'm on the coast, I can get a water taxi back. But I know I leave the coast after Kimixto and hiking the mountains, and that's where the real trek starts. I have an elevation gain of about 700 feet. So it's going to be a little difficult. It's not an easy hike, and I don't recommend it unless you're an experienced hiker, and this is uh, before I've done it. So we'll see after I do it what I recommend, but this is the advice that many people have given me. Many have told me not to do it, but they don't know me. 
and if someone tells me not to do something, that's the first thing I go and do. Or if I'm afraid of something, that's the first thing I do. <laughs> this trek is not possible in the wet season. Um, in September and October when it's raining and in November, I would not attempt it. There's probably water. All the way down here. I'm in Kimikso right now. I am actually walking the wrong direction, but uh, I wanted to check out this rock face. It's beautiful. So at Playa Las Animas, some people caught up with me, a couple, and I just passed them. They got caught in a big wave here in Kimikso. They were distracted taking a photo shot, and they weren't paying attention, and they got soaked, and thank goodness they're okay. That's the couple right there going across the bridge. the real path, the real um, jungle. Um, it looks like it's traveled by horses, maybe motorbikes. There aren't a lot of footprints. Guys, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments that you did that. I really appreciate it. I'm working towards my goal of getting monetized on this channel. I am nowhere near close. Um, but this year my goal is to hit 500 subscribers. When I came to Mexico from Canada in September 2023, I had 80 some subscribers. Now I'm over 200. Thank you guys. And it, the number just keeps on climbing because um, you guys show me so much support. You're sharing, you're liking my videos, you're commenting. And I really appreciate that. I just ran into another um, person. He was going to the waterfall in Kimikso, and he's not on YouTube. 
but he's on Instagram uh, and his tag was Vallarta777 so I'll be sure to follow him he's done the Pacific Crest Trail he uh, used to live in Oregon and he quit his job and moved here hey guys what do you think which way should I go this way it looks a bit better let's go that way You're definitely not doing this in rainy season. This is the gorge. It would fill up with water in seconds during the rainfalls. There's another one of those bees. Uh, I guess I this is the way to go. Let's see the fill marker. Going this way. Oh, you guys, I'm climbing elevation like crazy. It's only up here. Sometimes it's a 40% grade, um, and I'm hopping. Uh, God, it's beautiful, though. I'm the only one here. Take a look what I just hiked through. I know it doesn't look like mud, but it was a steep climb. Uh, it's not for the faint at heart. Not for the week. Um, my legs are strong uh, and I hike and walk a lot and um, even on the streets of Vallarta I don't take the sidewalks I take the cobblestone part and it strengthens your calves and your ankles and your legs uh, much more than just walking on sidewalks and I walk a lot in, in Vallarta whenever I can. This is a good hike. Summit, the first summit. The second one's a lot harder. This looks like a really nice place to set up a tent. That side was a little steep, but this side looks pretty level. And it's right beside the river.
looks like a robin in there. Somehow that bird distracted me and I got off trail. I'm only about, what, 20 feet? But it's all downhill. The trail's down there. Another river crossing. other way to go. And that's the way I came. So we're going up there. I think that's a marker. I I see a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a trail marker. We're on the right track. I'm not even seeing horse droppings anymore and I'm having to uh, kind of clear some bush. I'm on the trail. I know I am because I keep seeing those pink flags and there's somewhat of a trail um, but let me tell you it's not well traveled. I'll show you. sure oh there is the bath I'm right on it um, and I guess it goes this way but either way I'm climbing this mountain and on the other side is Yalapa once I climb down this is the big climb that chocolate caramel and vanilla all on the same log. These guys love it here. Ooh, what's this? It's a seed pod. You can use these as a cup if they weren't so dirty. Wash it out. It's your cup. I'm picking up garbage. Louis, you'll be proud of me. <laughs> The Banderas Bay Project cleans the Boca to Tomatlan to Playa Las Animas stretch every month on the second Sunday of every month. I'm almost at the summit, um, but I made a wrong turn. I just finished climbing up this. And I look behind me, and there's the trail. <laughs> Onward and upward. It's difficult, I will say that. I'm not sure where to go. My instinct says go up, but that looks like a trail and it might be easier. Let's take it. It was really difficult. Oh yeah, this is the trail. It was really difficult climbing up that steep slope. 
because I started sliding down and there was nothing to grab onto, no foothold. Um, and it was steep, steep, steep. There's no view, but here I am. Woo! I reached the second summit. It's 438. I won't say I got lost, but I did find my way very slowly. Hey, I'm back to seeing the horse poop. That's a good sign. That's where I came from. Way down there. Okay, it's 4.46 now. This is actually the second summit. Still no view, but uh, you can hear more people in the town. Um, I know we're getting closer. It's really tricky because the ground is not stable. My walking stick. This is the trail. This is my playground right here. Okay, this is plan B. It's, uh, ooh, what time is it? It's 6.43. 6.43. And I am just at the Alapa River here. Um, I've probably got about five kilometers more to hike and it's all downhill. It's easy. I don't know the trail though. Some of this trail is not well marked. So I'm making a game call. I'm going to find a nice place to pitch my tent right here on the river. And uh, number one, I'll have water, and number two, I'll be safe, but here, I'm all by myself. I can't see any reason not to camp. I'm gonna do it. And then tomorrow, I can find the waterfalls that I can hear from here. So I'm gonna find a camping spot. I don't know, what do you think? Does that look like cat tracks? Oh, yes, score. Look at this, guys. That's the path over there. So I'm far enough from the path I won't be bothered. There's a fire pit right over there with some wood. Now let's go get some dinner. 
make a fire. horseback ride and a dog that went by just after I tucked myself in for the night and that's the footprints that I saw obviously uh, they were returning on a journey I'm not sure where the path led but I can find that on another day um and one thing um that I need to tell you uh sleeping on the river so the other night when I slept on uh, the Rio Kuala River on Christmas Eve um, it was cold, so I got enough clothes this time. I was prepared. Um, I didn't know where I was going to end up sleeping, so I was prepared for anything. And so I had food, I have my coffee, I have clothes, I have um, oh enough um, supplies to make a fire. Um, and the dew on everything is wet. Everything is wet. So I'm gonna wait till my tent dries and then I'll pack up. by bees while they're hiking. I just saw and heard one bee. Um, I haven't been stung yet here um, hiking. I've been stung in my home in El Torito, but not while hiking. Um, I had two wood ticks yesterday on the trail uh, and it seems my legs have spots all over them. I think probably while I was sleeping something was biting me in my tent again. I'm coming up to a lookout here. Check this out. 